Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games and day 24 of the 30 day army challenge and it really is day 24 and a half as I'm recording this video but great news, the painting is complete and now all the miniatures are ready for battle so really happy, this is really great to get to this stage and as we head over to the table it's so cool to see that it's only got painted models on it now so I've got rid of one of the trays and all the army fits onto just the one tray now so that's it for the painting. I'm so happy to have a break from painting. This has been pretty intense getting all this ready now. And I've got six days left to work on the terrain. So that's really cool. I've also got to get those rune stones done, but that's not going to take too long. And I've also just got a few shields left to paint. So I wanted to do a separate video for how I paint the shield. So I've kept these off and then I'll just pop those on. So that's the only little bit of painting left to do for the models. Let's take a look at the models I got painted today and I will be doing a proper showcase of the whole army once I've got all the terrain and everything finished and going through also another video just reflecting on the whole challenge, what I would have done differently, um, yeah, mistakes and things like that. So I think that could be quite fun. But let's look at the models first and here's the first one and this is the model I made from a captain, a space marine captain and I just turned him into this for the space wolf. So I thought it would be good to use him as a terminator but also as a wolf guard battle leader so this will be my main miniature that i would use for that i could also use him as a terminator pack leader so that's an option or just a regular terminator and with all these different weapon combos now i've got lots of options to play around with the data sheet and so yeah just to experiment and see which worked best but for this guy i think it's really cool to take the space marine captain and turn him into a space wolf like this Plenty of head spare from all the sets. So yeah, really happy how he turned out. Then I painted Ulrich the Slayer. And this is one of my favourite models. This guy's great. I didn't want to give him black armour. So I went for Thunderhawk Blue. So it's fairly dark. And I think that's worked nicely. So yeah, rather than having like really dark armour, I thought this one would work better than just black. So he's going to fit in nicely. And there's some Thunderhawk Blue running through the rest of the miniatures like with the wolves and things like that so yeah all i can say is a really great model can't wait to play with him and he's going to be the priest of the army i also managed to paint canis wolfborn and so this is another mounted miniature and i could use him as a regular cavalry like a thunderwolf cavalry but you know having those extra data sheet and stats for canis wolfborn is really fun so that's just going to mix it up and give some more options when putting those different army lists together I could also proxy him as a wolf lord if I wanted to and so I'm sure I'll pick up that other wolf lord model though because it does look really good. But yeah there's some interesting abilities and stats for this guy so really cool to have all these different characters. And I also painted the miniature for Logan Grimnar. The uh, chariot was already done and the wolves so I just had to paint the model and he's magnetized so he can go on the base here or sit in the chariot so that's really cool and his cloak is massive so he's going to take up a fair bit of space you can see here on the base that cloak really stands out so I don't know if that's going to get in the way or not but I love him in the chariot I think it looks great fun and although he might not have the best stats of all the characters I think it's going to be a fun model to have in the army and it's just going to look great with all those Fenrisian wolves running around next to him. And he's pretty interesting because he's got two data sheets, one for being in the chariot and one for being on foot. So you're going to get some different um, stats and everything to reflect each option. And then finally, I finished painting the cyber wall, fixed the leg. I just glued it together with super glue and luckily it stuck really well. This is one of the fine cast models. Um, but then I didn't put it in the dead center of the base. So I messed that up a little bit. It's off center. Um, so that was a shame, but it doesn't affect it. It's not going to fall over or anything. Leg is very fragile though, and I think on reflection, I would probably just pick up a box of five Fenrisian wolves and just use one of them as a cyber wolf. And as someone said in the comments, I think it was John a while back, said uh, maybe use some of the Necron parts as a leg, and that would be a really good way to do it with those um, extra Fenrisians. And so for the price, you're going to save a lot more and have a load of different wolves to use as well. So I think that would be a really good way to go. And there we go then, that's it. That's everything I painted today. And the army is finished except for those shields. Everything is painted. So really happy to get to this stage. It was hard work, man, getting for 24 days every day working on something. But now I've got six days left for the terrain, which is going to be 
great fun, I think, and I won't have to concentrate so much up close. So yeah, that's going to be nice to have a break from painting uh, to get this terrain finished. There are some bits I want to touch up on some of the models as well, like here on uh, Murder Fang. As someone pointed out in the comments, thanks for noticing I didn't paint the like bindings around the skulls, so I want to go back and do that. And also on our Yak Rockfist shield, I like how that turned out. So if, I wouldn't mind doing that on the Terminator shields as well. So I might just go over that, but I'm going to do that later on. I'm not going to do that part of, as part of this challenge in this 30 days, because I think these are all tabletop ready now. They're, they're good enough to play with. And so, yeah, I can always go back and do that later on. Thanks again for following along with the series, but we're not done yet. We've got six days left to get that terrain finished, so can't wait to get started on that. But thanks for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>